I'm gonna show you how to use curved surface mode in Xtool Creative Space software. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome. If this is your first time here, my name's Roy, and on this channel we mostly talk about sublimation and lasers. Today, we're gonna to talk about the curved surface mode within Xtool's Creative Space 2.0, and today we'll be using the Xtool F1 Ultra. What curved surfaces are we gonna to engrave today? We're gonna to engrave this pumpkin and this gold planter I think I got from Target. Let's jump right into the software and set up a project. We'll start with this planter. I made this little piece of foam to be able to keep the object from rolling around any. And now I need to make sure that I focus it. Get it centered. Okay, now that's in focus with the top. So I'm gonna come over to the design. I'm gonna choose curved material. And then I'm gonna click right here where it says curve measure. And we are going to start, click the framing button and then get this in frame with where we want it. I'm gonna unlock the aspect ratio hold and move this around to where I think that it's going to be good. Looks about that good. So I think that is about right. So we're going to click stop framing. I'm going to go to next and then we're going to set measurement density. So I'll start measuring and it's going to measure the different points in that curve to be able to determine where to focus. And this takes just a minute to set up focus, but I think it's worth it. Okay, we are finished with that. Now I can click done and I'm gonna put my design in that white box. I am going to try 50% power with a speed of 2000. As you can see on the bottom, I did the material test array. So we're gonna to go to process. I'm going to click start. And let's engrave it. Okay, this came out great. It's a perfect example of what the curved surface mode will do. And now, for shits and giggles, let's try a pumpkin. Because pumpkins are asymmetrical, I decided to put a piece of blue tape along the uh, front so I'd be able to tell how to level the design. And I also then created a thin line, in this case, this red right here, and I'm using that to frame up where the pumpkin should be situated in order for the design to be level. Then I want to go to process on flat surface and change that to curved material just like we did before. And then I'll click on the curve measure and we will align that space up with our pumpkin so we can get that image in the right spot. And as with before, once it's good, I hit stop framing and then I hit start measuring and it will measure each one of those points with regard to the distance from the pumpkin to the laser. And once it's done, we have an image of where we're gonna be able to laser engrave on that curved surface. So I want to Make sure that that design is within that white area because that is that area 
uh, that we just measured. And I'm using 100% power, 100 speed on this pumpkin. We're gonna hit start and we are going to engrave the pumpkin. The pumpkin came out good, as good as the pumpkin could come out, but it's also another example of what that curved surface mode will do. I wanted to make this video as I was a little unsure when I first started trying to use the curved surface mode, what to do, how to do it. This new software feature is really quite awesome and it can be used with a whole bunch of different projects. I hope you found this little mini tutorial useful. If you're thinking about getting the X tool F1 Ultra or an F1 or any X tool laser, definitely check out my affiliate link in the description. Using that link won't cost you a penny, but it'll greatly help support this channel and I'd really appreciate that. That's going to just about do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to like it. Definitely subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you'll know when new videos are released. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. The perfect practice. Same process of what the sur curved surface mode in X tool. Curve surface tool in X tools creative space. Just stick around. I'm gonna show creative space software. Curve surface mode in creative tools X place.